Hello everyone, welcome back to Flashback Friday. Hi, I'm D-Dog. This is a show basically where we look at old K-pop videos and stuff like that. Now this in particular is a song that I've been wanting to listen to on this Flashback Friday, or at least a Flashback Friday sometime soon, because I keep, look, it's on my Spotify playlist and I keep listening to it and I just really, really like the song and I want to share it with you all. Now this is Tableau. Tableau, also known as, I think his English name is Daniel Lee, is the leader of Epic High. Epic High being a, a K-rap group. I think it has three or four members. I don't don't remember which but this is tableau and it's featuring jinsil this is from about 11 years ago which is a long time ago but you're gonna understand quickly why i enjoy it so we're gonna vibe for a second and listen to this if you like this video click the like button it makes me feel good about myself also i'm definitely still getting over a cold right now so if i cough i apologize i'm trying to do better i swear uh we're gonna press play though don't forget to subscribe we're on the road to 2k baby i want to get there at some point I love that it starts out with his voice like that. Then you have that fucking sweet ass guitar. I've never seen the music video though. This song was fucking all over my Pandora 11 years ago. There's a bunch of cool shit that I enjoy about it, and we'll talk more in a second. Listen for for now. We're just gonna vibe, baby. Also, it features Jin Sil. I don't know who that is. I think they were in like four or five different groups. But I have, I have no idea. I, one of the groups started with a B. Blast Stars? No. I don't remember. I did research, I swear. I love the fucking movement in this song, though. And I love how crisp his voice is with the instrumental and stuff that's happening. And also, her voice is breathy and stuff, which sounds really fucking cool. I love it. That part fucking I love as well. I love that it goes into the next, uh, his next rap verse or whatever, with like it dropping that instrumental then for a second. Great. Also, he's hot as hell. I think right now he's like 43 years old, so back then this, he would be about 30 something. 32, somewhere around there. He's one of the older K pop stars, which is exciting. Many people who are older. I think I think that's his age Man, if I fuck that up, I'm sorry Look, we don't come here for facts We come here for music God, her voice is so pretty And I think the cool fucking thing about it Is that their voices work so well on this song Because he, hers is very, very breathy, right? We talked about that You can tell and then his is much more of a rough sound type thing. Like lower, I think the lower timbre and shit is great as well. We'll talk more, we'll talk more, I swear. Right now, just let me geek out over this song. I love the song. It's just a fucking great song, you know? I love that as soon as he starts his rapping, that guitar is just going along with him. Which is keeping the movement up so fun. It's so fun. Also, because of how slow she's singing and stuff and whatnot, somebody like me who doesn't speak Korean can still sing along with it, which is just so fun. I really should be paying attention to what's happening in this music video, shouldn't I? I I'm sorry, it's just so, the music is so distracting because I love all the shit about it. And you know, some people might say that like, maybe that love is a sickness part or whatever is a little cringy. I don't fucking care. It's fun. Like 11 years ago, 12 years ago when I was getting into K-pop or whatever, this shit was my jam. And it showed me a different side of K-pop. One that wasn't super bubblegum. God, her voice. I love that. And then it just cuts out. It's so good. I love the instrumental of this song. 
we need to talk about it. So, first of all, the main reason I wanted to talk about the song was the beginning. This entire part, where it starts out with him just uh, just rapping that little part or whatever, and um, you get like that just that first little phrase or whatever when it's just the beat going boom boom boom, like it gets you into the rhythm and everything. And then as soon as he actually starts his little verse or whatever in that shit, it the guitar comes in, and I I fucking love that dude. I think that this song even though it's a very like you can tell it's more of a ballady type song and stuff especially when you get jim sill inside of it inside of her her parts but like for this part like you want that move the contradiction between like it being a sadder song and it being I, at least i'm assuming it's sad i should have looked up what it's actually about whatever i'm assuming from the music video it's sad um if i'm wrong i'm wrong i'm sorry uh the contradiction of him going like the tempo being so fucking fast and keeping up with his rapping and like that guitar is so crucial to this shit because think about this so like you have him rapping super super fast right and, like him him keeping up the pace is what he's doing and then she comes in and her first notes is like bum bum but like it's very slow and so like the slowness of that is, is just so fucking cool because it 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 not contradicts what am i trying to say contrast there we go it contrasts his part where you have two totally separate things and i'm assuming now this is the part i'm gonna assume and i'm gonna be wrong look i i know i'm gonna be wrong but i'm gonna assume while i turn this down for a second so i can talk about this is that this song has two different people in it you have him and her point of view maybe or something like that at least thematically with like what i'm hearing it's like two people going back and forth talking to each other now am i fucking wrong who knows i mean you all probably know if you're watching this you're probably familiar with the song already but if you're not familiar with the song just think about it from a, a, a blind eye if it makes sense like just looking at the structure of the song and the structure of the verses and everything and how you have him going to her to go to her and i get it she's in the chorus obviously so he got verses she got chorus whatever but like even in the chorus and stuff which we just had a second ago like you can hear him like in the background like and, and just having that little part is so fucking fun and like i already talked about this during the song as well her breathiness of her voice and whatever the way she's singing this shit is great with uh his timbre of his voice and stuff especially because his is more speaking and lower and stuff like that because obviously it's rapping so he's not really singing and so but i mean it's fucking it's great it's fucking great also that part like so you have this guitar that's keeping up the pace right the guitar is kind of gone right here no it's still in there it's still in there i'm dumb it's in there which is keeping up the pace and everything but then when she finishes her little section right here it drops the instrumental for just a beat which is great because it, it uh complements the beginning of the song where he does the exact same thing he starts with the rapping with just the beat behind him and now that he's back in his verses or whatever you can hear that guitar just fucking strumming along which keeps the pace up and it's so fucking cool besides that like i could talk a lot i've been talking for a while about all the shit i like about this song let me find the is it right here yeah most replay part i assume because music video stuff but also no that's just him doing more more verse yeah right here so let's take away the instrumental and you have her doing that chorus but then you just have the piano and it slows down but you can you still have a little bit you have a little taste of guitar in the background it's fucking great dude and then as soon as that beat kicks in oh man this is why i love this era of music from like 11 12 years ago because you have that bass that's just bumping the entire time and i'm just oh it's so fucking good i will eat this shit up every single time it's just how i enjoy this so we need to go ahead we're gonna have outro time because it's been like 10 minutes hi uh if you like this video click the like button it makes me feel good about myself comment tell me uh literally any other <coughs> dang it i went through the entire video without coughing i'm so mad at myself right now um any other stuff you know about tableau also any epic high stuff because i've never listened to their stuff at all i may have listened to one 
There's one song I remember it was filmed vertically, but I don't remember what it was. It was probably like six or seven years ago, but I could be off about that. Uh, I'm a loser. No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a something, right? It's I'm a something, but I could be wrong. Uh, so, uh, comment, tell me that thing. If I read your comment, I put a heart up by it. That's what I do. I, I literally read every single comment that I can, and then I put a heart by it. And lastly, subscribe. We're on the road to 2K. Eventually, we'll get to 2K, and I enjoy when we do because maybe we'll have something special come out. I don't know. That could be a year from now. That could be a month from now. It depends on if, you know, any of my stuff ever blows up again. So, that's it. I will see you all next time. I need to do more research on uh, uh, Flashback Friday stuff because I, I'm not running out of stuff, but I'm having trouble thinking of things to do for Flashback Friday. So every now and then I need to take a break from it. I took a one week break last week because I wasn't feeling well. Obviously I'm getting over a cold and uh, I try to record these two or three at a time. So I only do a couple since there's only one video per week anyway. So if you know a Flashback Friday thing, comment below as well, subscribe, all that stuff. I will see you all next time. This is such a good song, though.